Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a well, not another YouTube video. This is an optimization video guide made by me. Basically, we're going to I'm going to teach you how to optimize your gaming PC or just your everyday work PC in this video and debloat it, make it run faster and make it more snappy. So, the very first thing I would recommend starting with is that you're going to reset your PC. Now to reset your PC, you're going to go over to your taskbar and just in the search bar you're gonna search up reset this PC enter this it's gonna take you over here and then what you're basically gonna do is that you're gonna click on get started and then you can choose whether what you want to do basically here it's a very straightforward process you won't need my help during it just do it okay and then once you're done with resetting your PC as you can see over here I have a fairly fresh Windows install what we're gonna do next is that we're gonna go over to the, to the search bar again search up game mode settings basically you want to turn on game mode and then you're gonna go over to game bar and you want to turn it off okay basically it turns on in the background and it slows down your PC increasing increasing CPU load basically click off this again go over to the search bar like usual gonna click on themes and related settings once you're here you're gonna go over to the colors tab and then you can see over here it will show you transparency effects you want to turn this off this is again gonna lower the CPU load on your CPU and then you're gonna click off this and then here you're gonna go over to what I would consider out of all of these the second most important setting click on startup apps you can search for startup apps sorry and then here you can see all of these startup startup apps they some of them have high impact upon basically when I start my PC these have high impact on the performance so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna turn off any and all I guess apps that I don't need in the background so I'm gonna turn you off this 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 all of these are now off and when I start my PC the boot time is going to be faster there's not going to be any I guess background applications but keep the applications that you need on I guess or it just depends upon your personal preference click off this again go to the search bar search up view advanced system settings click on this and then it's basically going to boot you into here but you want to go into the advanced tab and then here you will see performance okay on performance you want to click on the settings thingy over here and it's going to bring you over here so here we can see that it's adjusted for best appearance what you want to do is that you want to click on adjusted for best performance but before doing anything further you're going to go down and look at the third to last setting you want to click on that and make sure it's checked okay and here you can see any and all like i guess thingies that you would like having on but personally I just ha like having this on and I just click on apply it takes a second boom it looks identical and it basically just makes your PC nicer and snappier click on ok click on ok and you're gonna again go to the search bar and I guess that's it practically for our basic windows optimizations Okay, so now what we're going to do is that we're going to move into the second stage of optimization, which I would argue is the most important part of optimization. So what we're going to do is that we're going to head over to our browser. And once we go into our browser, we're going to search up CTT tool. Click on enter. And once we're here, this link over here, I will leave it in the description or on the top comment. I'm going to click on it. And once you're here, you're going to be able to see this guy. And you're going to be able to see this one command. Okay. You're going to see this little copy prompt over here. You're going to click on it. Once it says copied, it's going to be on your clipboard. So what you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to head over to your taskbar. And you can see the Windows icon. You're going to right click it. Click on Windows PowerShell. Make sure it's the admin version and then click on yes and then once you're here you're gonna control V this okay and it's gonna enter this link over here I'm gonna click on enter and it's gonna take a second to load 
basically what this tool does is that it de-bloats and turns off all the background processes that you aren't going to use or you don't need basically so basically once you're here what you want to do is on the top left you want to click on tweaks and then once you're here you can see over here it shows you recommended selections you want to click on standard and then run tweaks i've already done this on my pc but once you d do this you're basically you want to you're basically gonna wanna restart your stuff. But there's another step which also requires you starting, so I would recommend that you just restart at the end of the video when you're done with all the optimizations. This is one of the most important and crucial steps in basically debloating your PC. It turns down the CPU processes. Okay. Now that we're basically done with debloating our windows and making it faster and snappier. What we are going to do is that we are going to basically use the most performance we can get out of our GPU and CPU. So the very first thing we're going to do is that the search bar, we're going to go over to that and we're going to search up graphics settings. Over here, once it's here, you can click on enter, over here. So usually there's like another uh, performance thingy, but I don't have it unfortunately. I don't know why, but you're going to want to enable that as well. Once you're here, you also want to click on Browse, and then click on this PC, and then here you can go over to the game that you want to optimize. You're going to go to its root directory. So for me, I'm going to be using Valorant as a test bench, and then you're going to want to find that, I suppose, the application name, and you're going to click on it, and then once it shows up over here, you're going to click on Options, and then you're going to click on High Performance, and you're going to save that. Now this is basically going to allocate more performance to your video game. Just close that. And then you want to increase the CPU priority of the game. So here we can see that I have Valorant running in the background. You need to have your game running in the background for this. Click. You're going to search up Taskbar. Task Manager, sorry. You're going to search up Task Manager. Click enter. Here we have Task Manager. So what we're going to do here is that you want to go over to performance sorry uh, details sorry yeah you want to go over to details you're gonna want to look for your video game over here we can see Valorant uh, so you're gonna right click on that set priority and then to high it's gonna change your priority if you can't change your priority I will leave a video link in the top comment that's gonna uh, show you how you can change it manually because for sometimes, sometimes it, you require like administrative uh, abilities to do that, and it blocks you from doing that. Once you're done with that, you can safely close this, and now you can be happy because your PC is debloated and pretty much as optimized as I would recommend you optimize it, or at least this is how much I optimize my PC before I play a video game. Okay, so this is. These are our FPS before we apply all of the optimizations to our PC. As you can see, our 1% lows are around 260, and the average FPS is around 400, like close to 400, you could say. It is important to note that the 1% lows are what matter the most, because in the most intensive situation you can be in, the 1% lows are basically what your FPS is probably going to be. Okay, so now we can see after we've done our optimizations with the game basically, you can see that our FPS has gone up, our av average FPS actually has gone up by around 40 to 30 FPS, which is a lot nicer and a lot smoother. But specifically our 1% lows, which matter the most, are a lot higher, they went from around 240 to 260 to around 300 to 320 which means that in more intensive situations it's gonna be a lot more stable and a lot more smoother 